Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today, we're gonna to take a deeper dive into water spots. We're gonna take a little bit of a sidebar or a break from the short series on the uh, cut and finish with the rotary on the Corvette and talk about water spots. I get a lot of questions on water spots. Uh, water spotting comes up a lot in our Facebook group, so I'd like to uh, address it now. Water spots accumulating on the car uh, from whatever, sprinkler, rainfall, uh, washing the car, and the water droplets can contain calcium, magnesium, limestone, and really any other fallout. Now that alone on your vehicle in a droplet of water, when the water evaporates, that will leave uh, the hard water uh, deposit behind, like the calcium, magnesium, limes, limestone, or whatever it is. Now there's a deeper um, concern when it comes to water spots, and that's the etching that it can cause. Um, so if you have the hard water combining with uh, acidic rainfall or water that is leaning towards uh, the lower end of the pH scale, that's when you get a combination of the scaling from the, the water spot or the, the fallout being left behind and then also etching down into the clear. I've seen it down as deep as into the base coat and sometimes into the primer if left long enough and the sun comes out. So let's cover that today. As we break out the whiteboard here, we're gonna have clear coat and base coat. And here's a water droplet with some fallout. And when the droplet dries up and leaves behind the deposit, it can leave type one or type two water spot. Type one is when the calcium scaling um, or the fallout is left behind on top of the clear, that can be removed chemically. Type two is when they're scaling and you remove it, uh, you remove the scaling or the fallout chemically, and there's etching from uh, water that is leaning towards uh, the acidic portion of the pH scale, and that can really etch deep down into the clear. So that's type one and type two, both damage left from water spots. Down here, we have uh, yet another graph and that shows base coat and clear coat. And I often come across three levels of damage from just the etching alone after you have chemically removed the scaling from on top of the surface. Uh, the first uh, sort of phase of damage is very shallow and can be removed simply by a one step or an enhancement, which will just lightly shave the top of the clear coat. And that will normally remove these um, 100%. They're gonna to be totally gone. The second phase that I see takes a bit more work and takes multi-steps, uh, a multi-step correction, and may even include wet sanding. And it's, that's gonna be a fix where you're gonna have uh, a, a conversation with the, the customer for expectations. What does he expect? If he wants them gone altogether, you can, you know, shave that deep into the clear. Just have him sign off in the paperwork, uh, the trade-off that can happen from shaving the clear too deep. Then there is phase three where it's, uh, the etching is down into the base coat, and that's where you just want to look for improvements. So wet sanding, because uh, there's going to be some jagged edges in here and a little bit of scaling left behind, wet sanding will smooth those off. So the light coming in and refracting off of the sides of the, the etch mark makes it a little bit less hideous to look at. You won't be able to remove it completely, but there can be huge improvements made. When it comes to water spotting, simple prevention is gonna be one of your best friends. If you see the car's wet at all, quickly run out and dry it. Grab a leaf blower. If you have a quality protection on your car, the water beads will stand up and easily blow off the car. You should be around your vehicle in three to five minutes with a leaf blower, if not a drying towel. Uh, another way to uh, help prevent them is, is having quality protection. Speaking about protection, uh, a wax, a coating, a sealant, film, uh, really any type of protection will help that painted surface. Instead of the water spot sitting on top of your clear coat, it's gonna be sitting on top of the protection you have on your clear coat, and that will be absorbing the neglect and beating 
uh, that your surface may encounter if you leave it unprotected. Another form of prevention, think about this. How about a rinseless wash? Let's just take, for instance, O&R. Uh, it has water softening abilities within it uh, to begin with, I've noticed. But if you use it on its own, you're going to be drying the car as part of the process. And then you don't have to worry about water spots sitting on the surface and causing harm to your vehicle. Another form of prevention you may want to consider are the shampoos you use to wash your car. Some shampoos have additives that are um, added on purpose to help fight hard water deposits. There are some that don't advertise uh, having any additional uh, ingredients in the formula to fight these water spots, but they do a great job nonetheless. Uh, Rain-X has some. Um, G-Technique, Adam's Blue Standard Car Wash does a great job. Gion Bathe just does a great job on its own with water spots. And those are to name a few that I've noticed using so many. Another idea to help combat water spots is a system such as this. It doesn't have to be this one. I'm just using this for an example. This is the Spot Free Car Wash uh, Rinse System 50. This is a deionized water system with a cartridge and uh, that contains resin that you replace every couple of months and it's a possibility. These run, uh, this particular one was about 350. I got this from the Kling Garage and this has been fantastic for almost a year now. We have some of the worst water here. Absolutely terrible. Uh, this is an inline system. This isn't anything that gets uh, hard piped into the wall. So this is uh, any standard three-quarter inch hose. You can get the quick disconnects for both sides. So I have it coming out of the spigot, curving down into quick disconnect, and then another portion uh, quick disconnect goes to the hose, to my pressure washer, or the foam cannon. So this is another great option to consider. And finally, we can remove on to how to remedy these water spots, the deposits on top of the clear or the etching below. First of all, you can try a simple MDR or mineral deposit remover. They can be quite inexpensive. You can use natural ones, anything acidic like lemon juice or vinegar, or you can try ones you could pick up on AutoGeek or Autotopia. CarPro has a few. IGL Delete is fantastic, and there are many, many more to choose from. Another way to remedy the situation is to put the quality protection on your vehicle, a wax, a sealant, a coating, uh, paint protection film, and then again, uh, that will absorb the damage from water spots in case you can't dry it off quick enough uh, or wipe it free. And then finally there is paint correction. You may be able to remove a hard water spot uh, doing an enhancement. Um, maybe a one-step, uh, an all-in-one. A multi-step correction, wet, stand, wet sanding, and finally maybe using a combination of all of them and using the rotary. And you can either remove them completely or make improvements that they're barely noticeable. You'd have to be at the perfect angle with the perfect amount of natural light hitting the surface for you to see them. So I hope that helps. Uh, in the next video, we'll get back to the series. We'll finish up the Corvette uh, using the rotary to cut and finish, and we'll take a look at the results. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, I'll catch you in the next video.